All right, good morning. I have sheet for chapter 17 and 18 here. You can pick it up later after the class. And the homework, the graded homework are distributed. If you found that your submitted homework is missing, please let the TA know. Perhaps it might still with him. We will have two more weeks, I think. We just finished chapter 18. All right, so today we will start on chapter 19. In the same manner, the chapter 19 will talk about generalization of the equation so that you can create one equation that can be used for any kind of system. But you see later that for mass transport, it is a little bit difficult. Okay? Anyway, you start deriving today. Today we will derive the equation so that we can get the final form of equation. Then we will spend some time discussing the system in which you have more than one kind of um, transport phenomena. Let's start with the overall system, the generalization generalized system. If you look into the smallest system possible, which is a small cube with the size or dimension delta x, delta y, delta z, okay? Suppose you have mass flowing into the system and going out in any generalized direction. You can take it into three different directions x, y, and z. Okay? And set it up shell balance. The shell balance would be accumulation equal to in minus out plus generation term. Of course, the acceleration or accumulation term, this term would show you how much mass would be changed with respect to time within the system. So you need to concern the volume of the system itself and consider how much mass here would be changed with respect to time. The change with respect to time is differentiation of the mass with respect to time. However, normally we represent, in, in this course, we represent, we not represent in terms of mass, we use density instead. Density is mass over specific volume. So if you take the mass concentration, which is mass of your species, species I, per unit volume, and then multiply by the volume of the shell itself. The combination here should give you mass of species I, right? Then, there will be in and out. In and out here would be net transport, in and out to shell. The net transport will be represented by using combined flux. We have two kinds of flux, diffusion flux and convective flux. Once you combine them together, you get combined mass flux. Okay? So mass flux of species I going in in x direction multiplied by the area perpendicular to it, you get Nix multiplied by the the area. The output will be the same except that the location will be changed to x plus delta x. Okay? And you repeat this for x, y, and z direction. You end up with six terms in and out. And then you have generation term <coughs> which is the production of your species by reaction. The species can be produced using chemical reaction. Rate of chemical reaction is represented by Ri. Ri here is a rate of reaction. And I use positive term here to say that this is production rate. This is generation. 
RI is mostly represented by the, the rate of kinetic rate which give you production rate per unit volume per time. So therefore this one supposed to be multiplied by the volume of the shell itself. Okay? Once you get this kind of equation, every term in this equation is supposed to have unit of mass per time. Every term will be mass per time, per unit time. You should also notice that I used mass basis first. For derivation, I, I usually start with mass basis, but for application, for examples, I gave you four examples. All of them will be used the uh, molar basis, right? So mass will be used mostly for derivation, and then, then, then you can convert them into molar later, okay? Now from here, if you divide the whole equation, by delta x, delta y, delta z. On the left hand side, you will have, you will have d rho i by dt. On the right hand side, if you divide by delta x, delta y, delta z, this term would be canceled out. And as a result, you will have divided by delta x. You have here divided by delta x. This term will be cancel. You have delta y down there and delta z down there. Okay? And then if you take a limit delta x, delta y, delta z approaching zero. This term will turn to differentiation minus dnix by dx minus dniy by dy and dnizz by dz. Okay? And then the last term you will have ri. From here, I can take the minus sign out. Everything here will be plus sign. Then, within this parenthesis, it is flux in different direction, differentiated with respect to that direction. It can be written as del dot ni as a vector. So finally you have minus del dot ni plus ri equal to d rho i by dt. This is the first equation that you get. It has a name. This is equation of continuity for PCI. Okay? This equation of continuity, it is a mass balance, but it is a mass balance of, of one single species. By the meaning, this is accumulation of the species i should equal to net flux of species i plus rate of generation. Okay? The net flux itself, ni, is consisting of two terms diffusion term and convective term. Convective term is rho i v. Okay, so if you plug this back to there, you will have d rho i by dt equal to minus 
del dot j i minus del dot rho i v plus r i. So by the meaning, it means that accumulation of species i will be resolved from net diffusion of i into the system plus net convection to the system and generation rate. Okay? It's just the same thing. Okay? So if I write down an equation for species A, for example, the subscript will be replaced by A, for sure. Again, if I have two species in our system, A and B, I can write down equation for species B as well. And as long as you have species, you can write down equation like this for any species in your system. Suppose I have only two species if my system is binary. If I combine these two equations together, what will I get? The first term on the left hand side, if I add these two terms together, as a result, I should get rho of differentiation d by dt of rho a plus rho b, right? And rho a plus rho b, by definition, is rho. Mass concentration of a plus mass concentration of b combined together should give you total mass concentration. In other words, this total mass concentration represents density of the solution. Okay? The second term is supposed to give you minus del dot J A plus J B. Addition or summation of flux, diffusion flux should give you what? What is J A plus J B? Zero. There will be zero. If one molecule diffuses from left to right of the system, the other move from right to left. The diffusion flux should cancel out. Summation of diffusion flux always equal to zero. Next term, minus del dot rho a plus rho b times v. Again, rho a plus rho b should equal to total concentration rho. <laughs> Last term, you have plus RA plus RB. What is RA plus RB? 